Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this happy birthday platter on the round rim platter. We're going to start by putting some contact paper down in the center of the platter. So just cut out a circle of contact paper. I already have mine cut out here. And then just place it right in the center of the plate. After you put the contact paper down in the middle of the plate, just run your finger along the edges to make sure that uh, they're, they're pressed up against the plate so that no paint gets underneath it when, it, when you paint it. Okay, and then we're going to move on and paint the stripes on the rim and then we'll add the black in the center. So we'll start with the purple in a large square brush and just on the rim of your plate, just start at the inner rim and pull it out and you're going to do two stripes right next to each other and it can overlap just a little bit. And then we'll move on to the next color and just go all the way around the plate. Once you have the stripes painted on the rim, we're going to paint the center of the plate black and we're going to paint right over the contact paper and then just up to the edge of the inner rim. We're going to do this with three coats so it's nice and solid. Once you have the three coats of black painted around the center of the plate, we're going to go ahead and put the black pencil dots around the inner rim. So just take the back end of a pencil, it needs to be nice and flat, and then you're just going to dip it into the paint and go about halfway over the, where the black line meets the rim so that it gives you a little bit of a scallop. Now that we have the black dots around the inner rim, we're going to take the Fun Rider and just put a line in between each stripe. any breaks in your lines, you can just add little dots. Okay, now we're going to use a sponge on stick and go around the rim and put the big dots on. Uh, I'm going to start with the lightest color, so I'm going to start on yellow. Um, the blue goes on top of the yellow, so just press the sponge down. You can give it a little turn to kind of make sure it makes a good circle shape and then just pull it up. And then we'll just move on to the next one. We're going to want to give that a minute to dry. We'll add a couple coats to them. And once you have all the dots on, just go back around and add one more coat to each dot. Once we finish the rim, we're going to take the contact paper from the center of the plate. And then we're going to sketch the cupcake right in the center. I got a little black smudge right here. I can show you how to take that off after it dries a bit. So we're just going to sketch the cupcake. And then we're going to paint it in. So we're going to use the red blaze paint to paint the cupcake. And it's just swishy strokes, one coat. And then for the center of the, or for the bottom of the cupcake, we're going to use the back end of a pencil and do the pencil dot technique uh, using a bunch of different colors. Now we'll use the black fun writer to paint the candle. So you're just going to squeeze it out. And fill it in and you only have to do that once. And then use the yellow fun writer to add the flame to the candle. And just make sort of a teardrop shape. Now that the cupcake is dry, we'll take the black fun writer and outline. So we'll start at the top of the cupcake and squeeze. And then we'll use the white puffy paint to add the letters. Up 
Okay, so I just want to show you guys how to remove a mistake if you get some paint somewhere that you didn't want it. Um, it's best just to let it dry. Um, it'll all come back up to the surface if you just sort of let it dry. And then just take a pencil eraser and erase it right off the surface of the plate. Um, if you get it wet, it'll sink into the pores and it's likely that it'll stain the piece. So taking it off with an eraser works a little bit better. So our platter is all finished and we'll send it off to the kiln room.